Welcome to Dongit's Model Railway. Today I am commissioning a brand new locomotive for my railway. This is a new Hellion class 860 and it needs a DCC decoder. I will be fitting a Zimo MX638D 21 pin DCC decoder. This is my first Hellion 86 and a later version of the Zimo decoder firmware than I've used previously. Firmware version 39 fixes the issue I raised in an earlier video where the top speed must be tuned before the stopping distance because changing the top speed will also change the stopping distance. That is no longer the case and both can now be tuned independently. There are no screws to remove on this model. The body is only secured by four small retaining clips. It is very tight fitting though and getting the body released from the chassis is difficult. Once the clips are disengaged, the body will slide off smoothly. I found the 21 pin blanking plug to be a really tight fit in this locomotive and it was a challenge to remove. Don't lever it up from the side. If it doesn't release across all the pins at once you risk bending the pins on the other side of the socket. Fitting a 21 pin decoder is pretty straightforward. Unlike 8 pin sockets, it's only possible to fit the decoder one way round. Line the pins up, push it home, and the install is done. The decoder is self supporting in this position and does not need sticky pads or insulating sleeves. Be careful reassembling the model as there is a lot of easily breakable detail on the top of the body and also on the underframe. There's very few places to hold the chassis that aren't fragile. Class 86 Zeros were all geared for 100 miles per hour. After a few years in service, they did gain a reputation for being hard on the track, and in 1979, the remaining unconverted 86 Zeros had their maximum permitted speed reduced to 80 miles per hour. This was a paper only change, the locos were not re geared. I am tuning my exam to be capable of the full 100 miles per hour, so I am looking for a 3 meter time of around 5.1 seconds for this model. I've not had one of these locos before, so I'll run it once with the default maximum speed to see where it is and adjust accordingly from there. Oh wow, that's Wrap! That's so fast I didn't even manage to get my phone out to time it. 
it also well overshot the stopping location. Let's slow that down a bit, reduce the stopping distance and try again. If you want to see more as I continue to develop and work on my layout and the stock that runs on it, feel free to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything more than a mouse click. If you like this video, there's a button below for that too. And if you've got any questions or suggestions, feel free to write me a comment below. I do read and appreciate comments on all of my videos. Nope, that's still not stopping in time. I need to reduce the stopping distance further. Okay, that one stopped within the yard, but only just. Let's time it over the three meters and see what the performance of this worker is. Four and a half seconds over three meters is about 115 miles an hour. I need to tone this down a little bit to get to my target of 100 miles an hour for 5.1 seconds. Oops, I went too far on that. 5.84 seconds is too slow. More like mm, 85 miles an hour ish. Now I need to speed it back up a bit. Point six eight seconds was not a big change, that's dead on 90 miles an hour, still needs more speed. Okay, 5.03 is pretty close, just over 100 miles an hour. And it's stopping in the right place now too. This just leaves me needing to tune the speed at half throttle. That's pretty good. Check the stopping location. And also to check the quarter speed stopping distance to see if I need any speed correction on the stopping distance. See you next time on Dongit's Model Railway.